Okay, this is how to get the content of an iframe within another iframe. So we want to get this data here that is in Sarpy County for an individual on an individual property. So for example, we want to get the sales. So we have this data here and it's within an iframe but it's within another iframe. So stupid. Why, why, why would you do that? And I think the iframes, so the ID, let's see. So you thought you could only put an element with the same ID in once, in one time. Wrong you are. You can put it in twice, and I suppose that's because they are embedded within each other. It's the wackiest, stupidest thing in the world. So you can have two IDs, or two of the same IDs, but I guess they're not on the same web page. But what a freaking pain in the butt. So stupid. So, how you do this, thankfully, I'm not sure how to say this, Johans, Johan, Johans wrote a great article about this. And this is to get the first iframe. This is to get the HTML of the first iframe. And just to demonstrate this problem, so if we were to get the HTML content, uh, yeah, away page dot content. Let's see what this prints out. And if you don't know, the new is to make Puppeteer head full. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. Did that finish running? Can anyone tell me did that finish running? Just to make sure that this actually ran. Done. Let's see if we can find some iframes. Yeah. So nothing within the iframe. So if you just try to print out the content, then if you try to print out, so if you try to get a little wise and say, oh, let's try to get uh, like iframe HTML. You could do, let's see, wait, page. There's like frames and evaluate. I wonder what this would actually evaluate to. Uh, I forget if I did this exact thing. Oh, there's the other iframe. There's one of the iframes. And here's the other one. So even if you're wise and you're like, oh, I'll just get the, uh, the iframe HTML, you still can't get the, uh, the second iframe, the frame within the frames HTML. It's like Inception. And maybe there's a way to do that with like frames right there. But, yeah, I didn't figure it out that way. So what I did is used, 
uh, Johan or Johan's code here. Render page to HTML. And all you have to do is pass in the page, which is pretty nice. And so he was just doing uh, this. Where he gets all of the iframes, if no iframe, continue. And getting the context from the original iframe. But I want to find the context of the frame within the frame. So what I did is I have got the frame right here and then found the frame that I wanted within that frame. Then I got the content frame. These variables are named very poorly, but in rush. And so this first one returns important that this returns an array. So I had to key into that, the zeroth element, get the content frame, and then call execution context on that, on the frame within frame two. So that's the context as opposed to the original frame. So that's the context that you want to pass in, and then, yeah, just let let that do its thing, let uh, the function do its thing. So, let us go see what that looks like. So let's get HTML equals a convert. No, no, uh, dang it, what do we call this? Render page to HTML. So render page to HTML, and you just have to pass in the page, which is really nice. And then let's print that out. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to work on this one. And I did test it with stealth. And that seems to be working better. Um, hmm. <laughs> Why didn't we let that one render page to HTML? <laughs> this is the one I have working. Hmm. HTML render page to HTML and doesn't like that. What does that evaluate to? Unless I declared HTML somewhere. Yeah, so using this with, which I might just have to do if it still doesn't work, using it with, huh, promise pending. Oh, I think I need to await that. Yeah, whoops, I need to await that. Boom, so then look what it is. So the problem is we have the information. That's awesome because you can see here, so the iframe one, and then here's all the content. But it just looks a little funky because for some reason it like serializes the HTML into text and like the first stuff works, it keeps those HTML tags, but the content within the second iframe prints, like it gets rid of the HTML tags. So not sure what, why that happens, 
but all you have to do is replace whatever this stuff is with the right and left carrot because this is just uh, I'm not sure what that's called but that's just the left and right carrot so what we need to do is then oh, okay I think there's a, uh, a couple other intermediate steps so I get the HTML and then find the iframe and then just convert that. So I find this iframe with Cheerio and then I, because I don't need to replace, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I just want the content within the iframe anyway. So we're gonna use Cheerio to load in that HTML and then find the, HTML, the text, the HTML within that iframe and convert it. And then let's print that out, iframe HTML. And maybe I'll just put all this code because in the description because I really don't want to put it on GitHub, create a repo and stuff. So it looks like that worked. So now, yeah, it has TDs, yeah, whatever, whatever. And then now we can get all of the data we want and we can see what that looks like. I don't know what, what this is gonna look like. If we do output, boom. So that's exactly what we want. So right there, there. It has these spaces you could, uh, these are just spaces. So you could replace those with spaces if you want in the convert HTML function. But that is how you get an iframe within an iframe. Such a pain in the butt. And if you want something scraped like Sarpy County or anything else on a county website, then let me know. Contact me, m.adrian.horning at gmail.com. I got to get a better email or the web scraping guy.com. Um, right now I'm just focused on county websites, but could scrape other websites if, um, depending on what your needs are. So good luck.